So today I'm going to be talking about and breaking down and describing everything that's done to my 2016 Mustang wide body build. Uh, I'm going to go through everything from the fender flares, wheels, uh, all the little details, trunk setup, what companies kind of worked with me, gave me discounts, and uh, how long it took to do the build. So, so starting off in the front, uh, I'll start with the little details first. This license plate bracket is a stone show license plate bracket and it just slides in and out. Makes it easier for shows and everything. That way I don't actually have to have holes in my bumper. Now this bumper is from Icon Motorsports. It is the GT350 front end conversion. Uh, the reviews were kind of mixed on it, but I thought that it came out better than what most people thought. Uh, it needed a little bit of body work, but not anything major. Uh, it does delete the fog lights. You just have the marker lights now. But I'm happy with the way it fits, happy with the way it turned out. Uh, and yeah. Now moving on to the flares. These flares are made by the company Stage 3 Performance. Uh, they're about, I think, three or four inches wider in the front and like four to five inches wider in the rear. You see here, they're very, very drastically wide. Uh, they came out good. There's a couple little issues I had to, because this was a 350 front end, I actually had to kind of cut and uh, sand the bottom of them and everything right here uh, but I use just Allen key hardware uh, I have well nuts behind it as well and a rubber gasket uh, most people like it for looks I do too because it kind of breaks up and does show you that it's wide bodied uh, but it also is functional making sure no dirt and stuff just gets trapped between there and chafes the paint and everything now moving on to the wheels the wheels are made from a company out in California by the name of Revel they are a full three-piece wheel with, uh, I don't know if you can really see it, but there's, I did, I opted for the hidden hardware. Uh, I believe the lip here is three inches and the one on the back is four or four and a half. I'm running a 20 by 10 and a half. Don't quote me on that. I believe it's 10 and a half and a 20 by 11 and a half in the rear. I'm running a 285 30 20 tire. I'm running the Nitto NT555 G2s and in the rear I'm running a 305 3020 uh, just giving me a little bit more grip and everything for when I do more power uh, and you can see that the fitment is just about perfect it sits right on the fender I'm at about 20 psi right now for my air ride system uh, that's usually what I set it up for shows and everything but and the rear has a little bit of room. Uh, I could run a little bit of a spacer, but it does sit right back here. So, but and the offsets are negative 15 in the rear, negative 10 in the front. Uh, yeah. I also color matched the Brembo brakes that come on the performance packages. I color matched them right to the car with the triple yellow color. Uh, they came out pretty good. Um, I think that makes the wheels pop a little bit. I opted for all gloss black. Uh, I, I knew that I was going to go with the yellow caliber, so made it pop more. I'm still debating whether to do yellow lug nuts uh, eventually, possibly. But I do like the looks of it. And I'm freaking obsessed over these Nitto tires. For the money and everything, they are awesome. They grip, uh, but I'm still they still allow me to have some fun with them. So now for our trunk setup, I'm running the AccuAir Endo CT, uh, so it's just the compressor tank, not the valve assembly. I did the valve assembly from Airlift Performance, I also that's also where I got my struts and everything from. I did a custom hardline setup uh, that I hand built myself. The tank, I went with a brushed uh, aluminum finish, and I made this as the original liner out of the trunk and I just cut it and laid the plexiglass behind it but that way I was able to keep all the uh, you know space and everything the 
performance pack doesn't actually come with a spare tire so this was kind of wasted space anyways uh, so I figured that I would keep my trunk space because I actually do drive this car everywhere and make it so that I could still have everything that was original so I mean it's a little scratched the plexiglass is a little scratched up and everything but I'm okay with it because I daily drive it I do plan on like putting some hooks or something back here so I can like put a bag up there and cinch it down and that way it doesn't slide and really scratch us up because I do like to show this car but everything's nice clean fit I blacked out the spare tire well uh, with just trim black paint I put these little uh, like foam stops because this plexiglass was hitting the tank just a little bit and kind of chafing it you can see here uh, but I do have to polish this tank a little bit more just so I can get that off but now that stops it makes it nice and clean a lot of people really like this when I actually show it off I kind of forget that I did it but this took about a day all by itself to do you have to remember too is I never knew how to do any of this really there was no instructions i just kind of went for it so i did do all this work myself by the way the wide body you know the wheels air ride uh i just don't really trust many shops to do it there's one shop uh semi close that i would trust but i like to do it myself so for the little details this is a gt350 rear spoiler from american racing uh, I got it in just black, the Mustang black color. I also got matching 5.0 badges in black as well to match with the wheels, the wing, and kind of go with this black and yellow look I'm going with. Uh, again, eventually I would like to wrap this car. I'm not sure what color I'm going to go with yet. I've had a lot of people say like Nardo gray, but I think that's starting to get a little overdone. I do love the color. I just think everyone's doing it now on builds. So I have to kind of decide what I'm doing. That might be uh, next summer, depending on what I do for uh, power upgrades and everything. And I did get all my air ride system stuff through Bag Riders, so big shout out to them. They helped out a lot, uh, gave me a discount. They had some sales going on as well at the time. And uh, big shout out to RTR. The they make like Von Gittin Jr.'s drift cars. They actually have a wide body for Mustangs that they just started producing. And they gave me an email saying, cause I was bugging them about trying to get one. They actually gave me an email with like the whole instructions of how to do the wide body and the price and everything it would be. So they actually kind of helped me cause this kit didn't come with instructions. So that did help me out a little bit, a little bit different kits, but roughly the same idea. So luckily I did have some help there uh the hood i am thinking about getting a new hood eventually maybe a carbon fiber one or something but again i don't know if i'll wrap it if i do do that the car also has a uh, corsa extreme catback system uh thinking about doing maybe headers depending on if i do twin turbos uh then i wouldn't do it but if i supercharge i would uh, or maybe just do a dump kind of avoiding the muffler and do a quad tip setup But I really like the course of sound. It sounds amazing. Just sometimes I want to be just a little bit more obnoxious But we'll have to uh, see what the plan comes for that